Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to make a pentagon with the protractor. Now, the processes can be pretty meticulous, but um, depending on what kind of pentagon that you want to make, um, either way, it's going to be pretty straightforward as long as you use the protractor uh, correctly. Now, it all starts with a line, so we're, the sketches that we're going to make here are going to be a little bit on the rough side, but you'll get the idea. Now, you want to start off with a line, and you want to label it A, B, let's just say. Now, what you want to do from here is, if you're going to use a protractor, you want to make the baseline of the protractor on this line and with point A as the center. Now, if you're going to make a regular pentagon where all the angles are going to be equal, what you want to think about is use the protractor and rotate 108 degrees, or if you don't really care, as long as, you, as the pen, uh, pentagon has five sides, you can rotate it appropriate, however many number of degrees that you want. But let's just say for sake of argument, you want to make the protractor rotate 108 degrees. So you want to make a dot at that particular uh, point, and then what you want to do is rotate it so that from the protractor, make a line towards that dot, and then make sure, again, it's a rough sketch here, that this line is the same length as this particular line. Now, as you know, a pentagon has five sides, so at this particular point, you have two lines, and what you want to go from here is, you kind of want to repeat the process, again, kind of rough sketch, and then where, using the protractor, the final side should end on point B. So again, using a protractor, you're going to be pretty precise about it, and I'm just giving you a general idea and strategy as to how this will end up. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to make a pentagon with a protractor.